hello friends welcome again to my youtube channel in this video tutorial i'm gonna talk about sex trait so we'll discuss here sex link trait sex influence trait and sex limited trait so let's get start so first of all i'll talk about sex trait what do you mean by sex trait so these are the traits the characteristic features which represents the sex of an individual it shows that whether the person is male or female so if I talk about primary sex organs then we have gonads males have testes while females have ovaries so uh, these gonads are representing the sex of the individual okay if I talk about the secondary sex organs then females have breast while males have beard this is also a way to represent the sex of an individual so these are known as the sex traits now on the basis of their mode of inheritance pattern we categorize them into three types so given below these three types we are going to discuss these three types one by one so the very first type of sex trait is sex link traits so friends if you are not aware about your terminologies regarding alleles genes and chromosomes first of all you need to clear about these all terminologies i'll give a link in my you can go for that link just check about the genes alleles and chromosomes and then you can come back to this lecture uh, and then you will be able to understand the lecture properly right so sex link traits these are the traits which are controlled by genes or alleles present on your sex chromosomes right in case of human beings the genes on x and y chromosomes are termed as sex linked gene so in human population females are homogametic homo means similar gametic means gamete means female produce similar types of gametes why because females have possessed two similar types of x have two x chromosome that's why whatever gamete they will produce will be similar all the gametes will carry similar type of sex chromosome while males are heterogametic in nature hetero stands for different gametic means gamete males have two different sex chromosome one is x and another is y so they will produce two different types so mates, their gametes may either contain X chromosome or Y chromosomes, right? The trait that is particularly determined by alleles or genes on X chromosomes are known as X-linked trait. Means these are the characters, the traits which are expressed by the genes present on X chromosomes are known as the X-linked trait. The traits which are expressed by the genes present on y chromosomes are known as the y link trait next point is x link trait may be dominant or recessive if the trait is determined by both recessive alleles then it is recessive trait and if the trait is expressed by the dominant allele then it is the dominant trait right Here we will use this picture to understand the last point clearly. In case of females which are homogametic in nature, if I talk about the X-linked recessive trait, then both the chromo X chromosome should be occupied by the recessive alleles of that particular gene. Okay, and you can see that in the second pair of the chromosome, sorry, in the second pair of the chromosome the x chromosomes are occupied by the two similar recessive alleles means both the alleles for the gene are recessive in nature and the organism will show x linked recessive trait in the first pair of this chromosome you can see that the one allele is dominant while another allele is recessive so here x linked recessive trait will not be expressed right so in the third pair of chromosome you can see that the both alleles are dominant in nature and the person is gonna to show x link dominant trait in the fourth pair of chromosome the one allele is dominant while the another allele is recessive here the dominant one is going to express so this individual will show x link dominant trait 
right there was the case of female but what about the males males are heterogametic means they have only one x chromosomes so male show a phenomenon that is known as the pseudo dominance pseudo dominance pseudo stands for false and dominance is a dominant character so males have single x chromosome whatever allele will be present on their x chromosome will express if the allele is recessive in nature it will show its recessive trait if the allele is dominant in nature it will show its trait whatever it is being possessed by the x chromosome right and that process is known as the pseudo dominance means whether the allele is recessive in nature it is expressing itself because it doesn't have another x chromosome okay so that is the process of pseudo dominance in case of the heterogametic organisms or males so color blindness it's a recessive x linked trait in case of females both the x chromosome should to be occupied by the recessive allele for a color blindness in case of male the allele should to be recessive there should be single recessive allele on the x chromosome to show the trait in case of the male fragile x syndrome is a x linked dominant trait the mean in case of the female a single dominant allele would be enough to show the expression of this syndrome in case of male the allele should to be dominant in order to show the expression of fragile x syndrome tdf it is the testes determining factor that is present on the y chromosomes in case of male the next trait is sex influence trait so these are the characters or traits which are influenced by the sex of an individual the characters or traits are influenced whether the person is male or female okay so the traits are not present on the sex chromosomes these are present on the autosomal chromosomes but expression of the gene is influenced by the sex of the individual right the genes are present in both sexes but the degree of their expression vary based on the sex of the organism the expression of gene will vary on the basis of the sex where if the um, if the sex of the individual is male the expression will be different or if the sex is female the expression will be different in both cases so genes are dominant in male while recessive in case of females so uh, we are uh, saying like in case of sex influence gene the uh, trait is influenced by the sex it means there are some uh, factors which are influencing the expression of a gene so the factors are basically different hormonal secretions as well as different physiological factor like in case of male testosterone are the sex hormones and estrogens and progesterone are secreted by the female so these hormone are somehow responsible to influence the expression of genes present on the autosomal chromosomes that are responsible to produce the varied effect in case of both sexes so here i'm going to take the example of baldness baldness is basically common in case of male okay baldness because of the high level of testosterone in male if you will look upon the genotype of the male and female for these traits you can see that when the both the alleles are dominant for baldness in male and female the trait will represent and when single dominant allele is present the male will be bald but the female will be normal now here the single dominant gene is going to be influenced by the high level of testosterone in case of male so high concentration of testosterone will influence the expression of the one dominant allele in case of male so the lack of testosterone in female is not gonna to influence the single allele for baldness in case of female the female will be normal the male and female both will be normal when both the alleles will be recessive for baldness 
so uh, it shows that when dopamine for baldness is present then testosterone influence that dominant allele right in case of male so our next trait is sex limited trait so these traits are also present in both sexes but they are limited their expression is limited to the one sex like sex influence trait the genes for these traits are also present on the autosomal chromosomes right they are present in both sexes but their expression will take place in sex whether in male or in female so you can say that they are responsible for sexual dimorphism like the genes for breast development are present in both sexes but they are limited to the female genes for the beard growth is present in both sexes but they are limited only to the male only males will represent that expression for beard development right the next is limited traits are primarily concerned with secondary sexual characters like limited to male while breast development is limited to female the next example is the milk production in cattle genes for milk production are present in both sexes like in male cattle and in female cattle but their expression once again is restricted to the one sex that is female only female have capacity to produce milk while the milk is not produced by the male variable expression in both sex is controlled by different hormones or physiological anatomy so penetrance in one sex becomes zero so when one sex express that particular gene and another is not expressing that gene, penetrance in that sex is completely zero why because the sex has that particular gene but it is not expressing the gene so you can say that the penetrance is completely nil or zero i hope you understand my lecture thank you very much please like and subscribe my channel thank you so much